So guys, if you're into feet stuff and, and peeling stuff, I'm glad you found the right video. What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron, this is Aaron's Aquatics. Today, we are gonna be looking at the skimmer filtration on the 90 gallon clown harem build. I'm also gonna talk about some new Acropora, an update on the Acropora polyp extension. We're gonna talk about the new fish being added to the quarantine system, as well as um, a brand new, well, my first bubble tip anemone. We're gonna be seeing that very shortly. Guys, it's a big video today, I'm super excited. Let's just get to it. Before we jump into that, I wanted to talk to you guys about something real quick. First, uh, an Acropora update. So if you saw my last video, you know we talked about some issues with the polyp extension on the Acropora, which of course, you know, lines the entire top of my rock. I'm really excited when that actually grows out fully into little colonies. Um, that being said, my Acropora have started to look great after removing the Flame Angel. So that coupled with more stable water chemistry, I, honestly, I don't know what the answer is in this case, but I'm gonna go ahead and pin it on the Flame Angel. I know that might be a little bit unfair, but I've seen the biggest improvement that way, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just say that that was the cause. Another thing I wanted to talk about, and it's really exciting, is today, I believe when you're gonna watch this video on Wednesday, I'll be receiving a handful of packages. I'll be working from home just to do that for you guys. Um, one of them will be an anemone, a uh, really exciting one that I'm gonna be putting over in the uh, 90 gallon. And I will also be receiving what I will be saying as my final Acropora for the 250 gallon saltwater aquarium. Um, I'll be going over each of these very specifically because guys, these acros are sick. I consider them my quintessential, my, my top shelf acros, and I'm super excited to see how they turn out in this tank. Lastly, I will also be receiving a third package, not one, not two, not the three packages. Um, why I did that. A third package that will contain my next batch, a batch of fish for the 250 gallon tank that will be going up in quarantine upstairs. Um, and those will be my wrasses. We're gonna go ahead and do that again. I'm really excited and I will definitely be following you guys along with this, so stay tuned. All right guys, let's bring this video down to the sump. Obviously, there are a lot of changes that have happened in here since the last time you've seen it. We'll be going over everything shortly, however, there is a package arriving next week which requires the use of more filtration. So we're gonna talk about that first. We're gonna do one thing at a time, so let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the mechanical filtration in the sump for the 90 gallon clown harem build. Right now, we are looking at a Niles Quantum 160. This skimmer is rated at, I believe, 250 gallons max. Um, I have not broken this unit in, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Um, I have not set up the uh, the correct height for it, though I do have some uh, egg crate, just like I put underneath my return pump ready to go, just in case I need to adjust and level it. Um, I did get something for you guys, and I specifically waited just for this. Right here, guys, this is the Nios skimmer cup. And hold on. I'm gonna hold it with, I, I only got one hand, people. It was, it's, it was uh, September 11th today, so I decided to wear my American socks, but hold on, that's not the important part. This is. God damn it, no, no! Please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's very nice. So guys, if you're into feet stuff, and, and peeling stuff, I'm glad you found the right video. This is where you wanna be. This is Aaron's Aquatics. Look at this, high quality content, super high quality content. You can go to Bulk Reef Supply for information. You can go to Than for macro shots. You can come to Aaron's Aquatics for foot skimmer stuff. All right, jokes aside, this is gonna be my primary mechanical filtration until I see uh, a need to run my uh, reactor, okay? I'm gonna have one reactor tied up to my manifold. I may run a GFO, carbon, whatever. Um, probably carbon leaning that way because I will be filling this tank with bubble tips just to prevent any of that kind of uh, uh, chemical warfare that goes on between them. Second, Second bit of, bit of filtration is my refugium, which by the way, is looking absolutely fantastic. Let me get a little bit of light in here for you. Um, I took a ball of my uh, clean shado, 
from my uh, 250 gallon refugium and it's already doing fantastic. The reason being, I've got a beautiful Kessel H380, probably a little bit overkill. Um, I just hung it from a uh, uh, um, one of those uh, one of those. <laughs> I hung it from the bottom of my tank and it's getting some pretty solid light directly here. Fantastic part is the left chamber that's going to my skimmer is blacked out so some of some not all of the light is uh, blocked off from that so we don't get as much algae build up inside the skimmer chamber. Um, I may try to do something here to block it off with the return pump but for now that's what we're gonna have and so far I've had zero algae problems in here uh, and that's great. Now for those of you that came here for the NIOS Quantum 160, um, what I'm going to be doing is taking the next day or two to break this unit in. According to the manufacturer specs, that's about how long it should take. Um, if you did not read the manual or if you're just unfamiliar with skimmers in general, you need to get the water line of the skimmer to a very specific point and that's specific to the skimmer unit itself. In this particular case, the NIOS Quantum, uh, well NIOS itself, they recommend 8 inches from the bottom. So what I'm going to be doing is measuring this out. This is actually probably already too high, but I've got the system. It's completely off right now. I just wanted to show you everything without the sound of the uh, return pump and the, uh, uh, the siphon. So we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and set this up real quick, and I'll show you guys using it in operation. So as you just saw, we've booted up the NIOS Quantum 160. The goal right now is to let this break in over the next one or two days. Also, I apologize for the sound. I turned everything back on. The water level from the Quantum pulled out a bunch of my return chamber and pissed off my auto top off, but I'll deal with that later. So the whole system is on right now. One thing that you wanna do with any new skimmer is to make sure that your primary is turned all the way to open. Okay, in this particular case, and hopefully you guys can see it, is that this arrow should be, like this line, should be focused on the skimmer cup itself. That's exactly where you wanna have it. Um, at the same time, uh, so, so once you have the uh, water level set, you wanna adjust the air knob, and you wanna basically have this all the way open. Um, and right now, I guess that was mostly closed. This is the first time I've used it, by the way. So you guys are seeing this all with me. See, there you go, it dropped and now it's coming up. So I'm gonna try to open this as much as I can without having this stupid thing fall off. And yeah, we are probably gonna get some overflow. I totally expect that. So I may just leave the cap off for now just to let the system run. And that's, that's probably what we're gonna be doing for the next day or two. Actually, you know what, that's kind of dumb. I just thought about it, because I don't want to constantly refill this. I don't have much room here, so I'm gonna get some, uh, I'm already feeling it right here. I got a little bit of splashing on my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Let that drain, all right? So I'm gonna leave this completely open. The only downside to doing this, instead of keeping the cap on, is yeah, you're probably gonna get some of these micro bubbles in the tank, but honestly, I don't really care. That Those bubbles will have to filter through here, come through here, go through my bubble trap, and then in th out through the uh, return pump. So honestly, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But the general idea is make sure your water level uh, uh, setting is all the way open, make sure that your air valve is all the way open, and then just let it sit. For every skimmer, it, it, it can change based on how long you have to run it. I know there are some methods of letting it maybe soak in vinegar or other options that can speed up this process, but honestly, just run it like this. I mean, most of the time, if you guys are trying to run a skimmer and set it up in a very short, on, a short amount of time, and it's because you need to get rid of some excess nutrients, you probably have other issues that you should address while you wait for the system to get set up. And there you have it. We've got the mechanical filtration, we've got the uh, organic filtration through the Chetomorpha. Um, we will be talking more about the refugium in a separate video. But what I wanted to talk to you about and the reason why we're setting up the skimmer now and why I'm doing a video on it is because next week I'll be getting the clowns in this tank. I'm super excited. N and you know, not just because we're finally putting fish in this tank, and guys, we're putting it directly in the tank, they're not going through quarantine, but only for one specific reason. Now, I'm not just getting any clowns, guys. No, 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 not for one of my tanks. It's not just gonna be some basic bitch Nemo, okay? 
For the last two weeks, I've been in discussions with Chad and Ryan at Bulk Resupply. They reached out to me because they want to donate 24 clowns to the 90 gallon. Now, not only am I getting some amazing Acropora that I can't wait to show you guys, and a bubble tip anemone from a local-ish reefer. I'm in Houston, he's in Austin, close enough. Um, not only are these things happening, I am getting clowns from Bulk Reef Supply, and not just any clowns. These are the brood from their original Fang and Sir Chompsalot from their clown harem build. I'm super excited. If you guys have not followed their series on YouTube, it has spanned across, what, like four years? It's ridiculous. It's basically their own trial at keeping, their original tank trial on keeping clown, a clown harem showing, you know, how to reduce aggression, how to keep multiple clowns, what you should, shouldn't do. And I'm hoping that this series will try to take that, evolve it, and, uh, you know, basically me as a hobbyist reefer, what, what, what will I take from information outside and apply it to my tank here. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I am super excited for the coming days. Tomorrow I'm getting the Acropora, the Rasses, the uh, Bubble Tip Anemones. I'll be showing you guys everything as that proceeds. Um, next week we'll be getting the Clowns. Super excited about that. And then that weekend afterwards I'm going to a uh, my sister's wedding. Um, excited about that. I mean, it's my sister, it's her wedding. But weddings, I'm not a fan of weddings. They're, they're long and they're stuffy. And anyways, it should be fun. Visit family, go eat some good food, maybe drink a little, it'll be all right. That being said, guys, my name is Aaron. This is Aaron's Aquatics. See you next time.